Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Tonight's short shock. Party crashing. By Teddy. Halloween is by far my favorite time of the year. The one wonderful day where walking around with a mask on is socially acceptable. Masks hold quite a unique place in society. Mask can transform anyone into something else, turn an actor into a character, hide the secret identity of a superhero, or even allow monsters to walk among men. You never know what's behind a mask until it's taken off, but that's the best part of Halloween. No one is going to take off anyone's mask. There is no gang of teenagers with their talking dog here to strip away my disguise and reveal the truth underneath. No. This is reality, and on Halloween, I'm perfectly able to hide in plain sight. Of course, wearing a mask has its own special meaning for me. I am not an actor, superhero, or even a monster. Not the fictional terms at least. No, I simply use a mask as a means of entry. Any mask works, really, so long as it covers up my face. I manage to use a different one every year. All I need to do is walk the streets of my suburban neighborhood, weave my way through various decorations, and dodge packs of trick-or-treaters until I hear the familiar blaring of loud music. Like a sailor to a siren at sea, I'm drawn to that music, to the party that it emanates from. Yes, yes, this is why Halloween is wonderful. No one ever seems to ask questions at the door to a Halloween party. All I really need to do is knock and then wave when the door opens. The mask makes people just assume that I am, after all, here for the party. Hell, sometimes people just leave their front doors wide open, allowing even easier access to their home. On Halloween, no one gives a second glance toward a masked man making his way through their midst, which is what makes my hobby oh so much fun. They're completely oblivious as I approach their food. They continue to chatter and gossip as I add my own special ingredient to their bowl of punch. They continue to dance and play as I stab small, sharp needles into their chocolates and sweets. It's not until their first friend drops to the floor, either choking on the poison or coughing up bloody needles, that people start to panic. It's the same every year. As soon as I leave the party and hear the chaos rising behind me, an unstoppable grin forms under my mask. Screams of terror are such a pleasant noise for such a pleasant holiday. Well, you don't have to love somebody who enjoys their work, but it certainly doesn't hurt. Stay scary, my wildlings, and make the most of your nights.